Hello there, gang. Welcome back to an episode of Central Park Rangers with me, Dr. Ben GFM. And since we last met, let's get straight into it. You can see things have gone terrifically well. And by that, I mean we drew with Michigan Bucks. Michigan Bucks are part of that group at the bottom that are terrible. We drew 2-2 two -two with them. It's it's a frustration. But since the 2-1 win over Koras Nayarit, that's, that's spot on, I think, man. Uh, you can see there, five wins in March on the bounce. Very good football from us. Um, the, the most interesting game is probably against UA Chihuahua. Easy to say. Now you know it, Ben. Uh, we actually scored two goals in the first minute back in back-to-back -back games, which I feel like is very rare. Um, we scored in the first minute, and then they came back into it. So it was 1-1 for quite a long period. And then all of a sudden, in a five-minute period, we scored three goals, and that game was done and dusted. Lovely stuff from us. A good performance. And uh, we followed that through. Bethlehem beaten. Gavin Lenz. Lenz oh, Ben. Gavalanes, sure, beaten. Charlotte Eagles beaten as well. And uh, yeah, it leaves us in a, a sort of a disappointing fourth, I dare say. Um, we've beaten some of the sides above us in that run and we're still behind both of them, which is quite frustrating. Fourth position uh, is where we lie right now. It looks pretty unlikely at this point that we're going to get into the top two and it doesn't seem as if we're going to drop out of the playoffs. But uh, today, two games to bring you regardless. Uh, Real Zamora uh, is going to be the first one that we play today and hopefully we can get ourselves three points and secure our playoff position today. That's the goal of today's episode uh, with not too many games left to go of course the next time we meet then may well be some playoffs or we'll finish off maybe our last game of the season to see where we lie within those playoffs but yeah Rail Zamora and Long Island Rough Riders that's right it's a local derby I think I figured we'd play it today so into it we go I'll see you in a moment I mean where am I going I'm going nowhere I'm just I'm gonna show you the team sorry Bit of genuine apology there. Uh, so here we are then. Farino. You can see it here. McTurk will be at right back. Thompson at left back. Samo and Nick Bibbs. Nick Bibbs, I feel like, is becoming a bit of a cult hero. I wish he had a face, to be honest. But um, yeah, Nick Bibbs. Love him. Absolutely love him. Uh, in front of him, then Danny is, is filling that spot at the moment. And Calusio is sort of taking his spot outside of the side. As Danny's come in and is performing really well. He's just a very well-rounded player. Uh, I streamed yesterday, so the colours are different. Oh, no. Uh, Bement and Matured in the centre. Luchini on one side. Con on the other. And Zaid up top through the middle. Uh, shot off is suspended today so will be unavailable for today's action and Segbos is just having a little bit of a break. Uh, he's played a lot of football this season and these games again we're, we're in sort of a position now where we can kind of play whoever we want to play. It's, it's quite nice. By nice I mean we're what seven points off the automatics and seven points off fully out of the playoffs so yeah. I'm just hoping that Zaid stays good enough for long enough that he doesn't get tired by the end of this season. You can see his, his physicals are starting to... It, that, there's problems over there, viewers. All right, then. Can the Central Park Rangers Originals perform a miracle and uh, get us into these playoff spots then? It's very square, isn't it, viewers? I mean, it's a, it's a very square pitch. Actually, it's not, it's not the squarest pitch we've ever seen. And because of that, I'm going to give it a tiny little bit of leeway. But it is quite square. So, not sure how I feel about it. Also, I thought we would have had Regen Day by now, but we've not had Regen Day yet. It must be coming soon. That's, I mean, look forward to it, viewers. These colours are particularly awful. And I'm, I'm, I'm assessing that now. We're going to have to move to 3D, I think. All right, that's better. You can actually kind of see what's what now. As uh, you can see, we're in green. They're in blue as... Well, he's offside, so it doesn't count. They've got a yellow stripe going across their front. We've got sort of a goldy stripe. 3D's definitely preferred here as uh, they head... It. Well, I mean, he's not off, is he? I mean, I've, I've, I've assessed that there. He's not off. They've given offside. He's not off. He was level. At worst, he was level, viewers. Well, we've got away with it. And I'm happy about that. Good. It's a breezy 31 degrees. Blimey, welcome to Mexico. Breezy. I've never felt breezy 31. I don't know what that's like. I suspect that's how people will describe me in about three years' time, though. Breezy and 31. All right, after that depressing first half, we'll move over to the second half and hope for actual highlights. That'll be fun, won't it? We, we saw one thing. It was an offside goal. I mean, what a treat. We're going to try and keep them calm, though, as we send them out for the second half. Zaid's got us up doing something, and I'm expecting Mature to get himself a goal as well. Segbus, of course, on the bench. Might have to be brought on if we can't un unlock the door. We'll have played a game more than some of our teams around us, um, so that's not too bad. All right, it, it's them on it, though. Rail Zamora looking to, uh, to make a bit of an impact here. They're knocking it around quite neatly. The question is, will they be able to find a breakthrough? Or will we counter-attack from this? I guess that's the question everyone's thinking right now. Are you thinking it, viewers? I'm thinking it. As uh, Garcia plays it inside to Miller, plays it off again. And, I mean, there's not a lot of movement in their forward areas. And, and this midfield three seems somewhat frustrated by that. 
And it, it may well be a case that we nab it off them. They finally try and force it forward. And now Thompson, in the in the most yellow boots you've ever seen, sprinting forward, eventually stops and just decides to go backwards. Matured now on it. Press it across to Bimint. Where's he going to go with it? Is he going to go for goal? He loves a shot from there. McTurk in loads of space. You can't give McTurk that much space. So even with the header on goal, it's saved by the goalkeeper pathetically. And then it's popped in. Is there a corner shop over there? There seems to be some sort of store. It doesn't look open. Well, this is new. I've never seen a shop in the... Sorry, this is really not... We've scored a goal, viewers. Carl McTurk, though, doing the business again. He, is he the best right-sided player I've ever had? I think that's the question we've got to start asking. Really start making my Hall of Fame list. Potentially so. As uh, the ball's chipped in. So he's headed, not bad at all. But then Connor's there on the rebound to pop home. Uh, Rodriguez there made the mistake of saving the ball and then going over his own goal line, which I don't think you, you're taught that at youth level. I mean, that Ferrino is there, it's just, it's just launched a, a kick up field, but it looks like it's going to be them to bring this forward instead, actually, as they're, they're knocking it around quite neatly. They look for a long ball onto that left hand side. Gamma scores. I, I realise there, viewers, that I didn't say anything. Um, those that have watched this series will know Villegas was a, a struggle at speed, so I avoided it at all costs. It's 1 1. Uh, Segbus is coming on. It's probably Segbus. It's probably Se not Segbus. But I've gone with Segbas, and we're sticking with Segbas. It's definitely Segbas, isn't it? Definitely. All right, free kick. McTurk lays it off to Danny, who uh, I've not seen him shoot from there all too often, but Mature's going to pick it up. He's got Thompson to his left, and he will find him. If Thompson can play the ball back inside, he does. Mature with a lovely little bit of a lovely turn. Danny with a strike. Oh, just over the bar. I think it clipped to the top of the bar, actually, and it remains 1 1. I'm still going for this cautious, patient approach as they've got a corner whipped into the centre. It's fallen on the volley. Arena with it. A very good strike, which I wasn't expecting. Real Zamora taking a bit of a shock lead here, you've got to say. They're not one of the best sides in the division by any stretch, but this is a great finish. You've got to, you've got to give it to him. On the half volley, bangs it in. Lovely. Quite enjoyed that, and I shouldn't enjoy it. He's their centre-back. Now I enjoy it less. Free kick. So my, oh, our centre-back goes for goal. He's hit the post. I mean, centre-backs are having a wonderful time in this game. Do you know what? It looks like we might not win this. I thought this would be like a bit routine. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's not happened. Perry's going to come on. He's been playing a little bit more recently and actually performing quite well. He's got a few minutes here to make an impact. It doesn't look overly likely, though. As the time ticks away here, viewers, there are, there's about 60 seconds left. Is there a late comeback on the cards for Central Park Rangers? That's the question. As we race forward with it, there's still a chance here. Thompson on this left-hand side. He's got to whip the ball in. It's got to be a good delivery. And it is. No, it's not. Oh. I picked that up there. I mean, I, I I was excited for a brief moment. Bument brings it forward. I mean, I don't suspect there's going to be a, a, another highlight here, but 20 seconds to go as he's clapped that. Why are you clapping it for? It was uh, it's game over. He clapped that. It wasn't clappable. It was unclappable. I assertively say not good enough today. A defeat. We've not lost for ages, you know. That's our first defeat in a very long time. Um, I guess we're taking it a little too easy. And we've, we've, I mean, actually, we're not completely secure in these clubs. So there's about a four or five point gap. So we've got to be careful. We've got Long Island Rough Riders next, though, in eight days. If we don't win that, I'll end the series. So that's how much I think we'll win that one. They're 18th. They've won five games all season. All against the sides below them. There's no chance we lose. In fact, I've said if we don't win, haven't I? So there we go. You notice on the training there, it says delivery. Um, that's not that's not crossing or set pieces. That's there's a new Amazon opening soon, and they've got a practice. They're part time viewers. What can I tell you? Some of them are better at others. Uh, unsurprisingly, McTurk is one of the best deliveries I've ever seen. Um, he, he deserves credit for that. Whereas Zaid desk job these days. He's, got, he's getting on a little bit. He's, he's 35, Ben. You're not far off that, mate. It's worth saying, viewers, that you know I'm, I'm quite critical of age on Football Manager. As I get older, as life continues, uh, watch as in my series, I have more of a more of a love for players over thirty. That will definitely happen when players' peak becomes thirty six. You know I've been doing this too long. Oh, there's a scout report on Freddie Adu. I would really like to buy Freddie Adu. I just, I just really want him. I don't, like, he's, he's tied. Like, his contract runs out at the end of the year. I just really want Freddie Adu. They want quite a lot of money for him. Now, we do have that, of course, because I mentioned this at the very start of the series, of course, uh, within the rules. You get money for winning games uh, and whatnot to keep yourself afloat. Travel, I'll say travel costs and whatnot are a lot bigger. Financially, we're sitting at like sort of four or five million, um, which basically, because you can't attract anyone, like, it's all well and good having that. It's basically trying to keep clubs stable in that they're never getting out of business. Um, it's not a case of that, oh, every, every team in the lower divisions is going to become overpowered because of your reputation. You simply can't attract the better players. 
so it, it evens itself out in that you can stay financially stable, you can stay financially comfortable if you're doing quite well, but at the same time, you can't just go out and spend whatever. There's also, remember, the salary caps on how much you can spend per week based on the players that you bring in. So it's all regulated in a sense that you couldn't just have loads of overpowered teams in the lower divisions with sick teams. Like, it, it wouldn't work. If you get relegated, there's a chance you've got to move some players on because they don't fall into the salary wage cap and whatnot. So, um, yeah. We've got some money. It basically what, uh, and the best part of it for me is that because of the money available to me at the moment, it allows me to try and increase our facilities and focus on that, and allows all the clubs to focus on increasing and bettering their facilities rather than purely thinking, let's go out and buy the best team possible because you can't. So. It makes football generally in the country better because of the improved facilities across the board because of the financial impact that this safe has. That, to me, is quite interesting and exciting. Hopefully you think that... I mean, do you think that's a good thing? In the comments, do you think that's a good idea? Because I, I, I'm interested to see what you think about that. Like I say, we've got 4.5 million right now, but you can't really do much with that. We're spending 40,000 per week on the wage budget, so it's not like we're going crazy, and it's a very steady increase in terms of the money that gets pumped in, and at the moment, you can see that we're, all we're working on at the moment is improving our facilities and hoping that we can up them from a point right now, which is, well, I'll show you, poor data analyst, below average youth facilities, average training facilities. I've started quite low down with that, viewers. And of course, it's worth remembering, we're still not professional either. Um, I, I'm not going to apply for that unless the, the board think it's the right thing to do, or as we move forward with this save, I think, right, okay, we're in like the, the fourth tier now. It's worth becoming professional. Even next year, maybe, if we were to get promoted, it might be worth going pro professional at that point. Just because in terms of training, you want to be able to train as much as the other teams around you. Uh, this is becoming very serious, Ben. It's a serious football manager series. Maybe that's what this should be this year. It won't be after tomorrow. I can guarantee it. But yeah, I thought it was, it's nice to give you a bit of background. All right, little change. I've made it there. Farino is going to stay in goal. McTurk, Bibbs, Samayo and Thompson at the back. Danny is going to anchor the midfield. And Mitchell and Bennett just in front. We've got Simmons on one side. Shutoff comes back in on the left. And Saeed remains up top through the middle. I, oh, I am worried about him a little bit. I've not, I'm not going to lie to you, viewers. I don't know if we'll renew his contract. It's kind of a weird situation. 23 and 28, it seems obvious that we would. But... I don't know, the second half of the season, he's not been quite as prolific. And it's not his fault, viewers, it's just age. He looks happy there, though, doesn't he? He's got a happy little face. Not as happy as Bimmon. He's loving life. He couldn't be happier to be in this team. Whereas Danny, he's got a face like, I don't really want to be here, but I do like Manhattan. All right, we're going to go back to the 2D for this one, I think. As uh, you can see, the boys walk out. Though. That's quite nice, isn't it? Look at that. Lined up and ready to go as Zaid gets us underway. Uh, and because we can now distinctively tell which is which, we go back to this as we play Long Island. This could be their rubbish. We're two minutes in. Zaid gets another goal this season, and I don't know what they've done. I'll say now, viewers, if I was manager of the Long Island Rough Riders, this would have annoyed me no end. That ball there is not the best, to be honest. That header, though, questionable at best, and Zaid just... It, he strokes it in. It's getting very tight at the top. Reno, I just noticed there, have slipped off the toppler. Oh my word, they've, they've fallen a little bit. That, that is surprising. There's a little bit of possession for us, 15 minutes in. I expect us to win comfortably here. So who's going to stand out and uh, be the star of today's show as McTurk finds Zaid? It could... I've just I've just criticised him and now look at him go. It wasn't criticism. It was an assessment, viewers. That's what we need to remember. We've won it back quite deep into our side of the pitch. So we're going to have to carry it. And Mature is taking that. He's loving it. Um, someone did comment to me on Twitter yesterday. They said, if this was a few years ago, Ben, Mature would already be called the cheese, which... He's absolutely right. I've changed. I've I've grown as a person. He should be called the cheese. There's no argument there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Bimont's got an injury. He's, he's got to come off. Danny's going to move forward then. And we're going to bring in Carosio to play in behind the both of them. That, that I mean, it's quite a simple swap for us, but it's not a good thing to have someone injured. Free kick. Thompson, back post, headed down. Oh, he's just come on. That would have been his first touch, I think. That would have been very impressive. Something to be very proud of. But he didn't score. At half-time, viewers, it's been less competitive than the last game, it's fair to say. I'm getting into that mode now where I am incredibly nervous for these playoffs because I think it's looking oh so likely that we're going to be in them. And you've just seen in the last game, we are fallible to teams that are in 13th. So never mind the teams that are around us. I think we drew last episode, didn't we, with Richmond 1-1. So it's not comfortable. A shut off goes for it there. I've got a lot of a lot of time and respect for that. 
I think at the start of the season, I would have liked to have stuck into sixth, but we did go on a run, especially the second half of the season, where we didn't lose for a long time. We drew a few in there, but we won a lot of games, and it sort of cemented our spot in fourth. I did think there was a period around the Christmas period, I think, that I thought we were going to sort of drop off a little bit. We lost two in a row, I think, and then it, I, I thought, oh man, we're going to drop out here and then be struggling. But we seem to have held it really well, and uh, it looks like going towards, or well, as the closer we get to these playoffs, um, we're going to have some tough games in them. But that's exciting, though. Oh, you are joking. Now Matured's got injured. He's injury central over here. Shutov's got to play in the centre then, I guess. And then um, Perry's going to come on the left-hand side and play a sort of an inside forward, I think. I mean, it's not ideal, is it? Both of our midfield two have got injured. And just as I talk about how strong we are and how exciting it is, we're, we're getting depleted. How have they kept this to 2-0 as well? That is that is more impressive. If they score, there's no way. They've scored! George Herrera with the goal. I bet he's got like three finishing, eight finishing. That's worse. It's not worse. It's literally not worse, is it? It's, it's five better, Ben. Ball played out to this left-hand side. As uh, it's, I mean, that has he meant that? I mean, the keeper there. For, mm, yeah, okay. Just hold on now. I mean, I'd, I thought this was going to be a bit of a demolition job. Oh, there's, there's a minute and a half here. I'm not throwing it away against the Long Island Rough Riders. That's not happening. We, we'll score a third before that happens. As we launch it forward... Get on that, please. Oh, come on now, team. Get on. Nick Bibbs is at the back. We're going to be fine, Ben. Calm down. Everything's going to be all right. As that ball's knocked forward. We're not going to be all right. I think they're going to score, viewers. I'm calling it now. Is there something I can do to, to stop that? Hello. Chance, maybe. Over the top. Perry play him. Zade wants it. You found him. Zade to make it through. That is a penalty kick. I mean... In fairness, he, he had to do that, but he should be sent off for it because that is denying a goal scoring opportunity. Forget double jeopardy. I don't, that doesn't apply in America. Get him off. Referee, what's the decision here? Yellow card. Yellow. I mean, he was going to score. Zaid, make it three. Get this done and dusted. For the hat trick, Zaid steps up and he scores. Lovely stuff. Central Park Rangers, three. Long Island Rough Riders in a local New York derby. Uh, we, we come out superior. Fantastic. Look at the lovely blue branding on that wall. That is sensational. That's not what we're here for. Come for the football manager. Stay for the blue branded wall. Are they really going to grab another one? No, they're not. And there we are then. That's the final whistle. 3-1 winners. But injury concerns. Let's just see. How bad is this time midfield too? Two players that have been pivotal and key to this series now find themselves with injuries, which is not good. Freddie Adu got a couple. I really want Freddie Adu. I might have to spend big to get Freddie Adu in. Um, five to four weeks. That's a while. Twisted ankle. And then matured out for two to three days. Not as bad. Not ideal, though, is it, viewers? Let's face it. Um, right then, we'll let our assistant do this. And uh, that's going to bring us to the end. If you've enjoyed today's episode, I say do please leave a like. Let's aim for that thousand like mark. Say, your support on these videos means everything, really. As long as you're enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. We're all enjoying it. And I'll see you again tomorrow for more. We love with care. For it's until next time, goodbye. I've, that's a very official exit.